The lady from the 30th District, Representative Kochmar. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you have a very fine nose. <laughs> Why, thank you, Representative. Ev <laughs> Every person in this room has a very fine nose. And the reason I bring that up is there's this old colloquialism which says, why would we cut off our nose to spite our face? Contained within this tax bill, and that's what this is, an increase in taxes, is a 1.92% tax increase on cargo. This 1.29% increase on cargo, gross revenue associated with cargo that grows through our ports, is five times higher than that in Washington and that that in Oregon and California. Now, if I'm a shipper and I'm going to ship a container, why would I go through Washington State when I can send it through Oregon, California, or Canada? I find it so interesting because I've been in government for 34 years. I've been on a city council of one of the largest cities in the state, also as mayor. I've seen this happen over and over where government will expand to fit the money available. We all have wonderful ideas. We all have wonderful intentions. We all have things we want to do. What we have to do is live within our means, just like our families. This 1.292% increase in taxes on our cargo will translate into a loss of jobs. It will lo it's not just any jobs. It's jobs for longshoremen. It's jobs for I'm sorry, we have to be politically correct. Launch our people. We have, I'm sorry, I'm female, I believe in that. We also have a loss of truckers, railroad workers. I sit on the transportation committee. We talk over and over about how important it is to help our ports, to help the port of Seattle, to help the port of Tacoma. When we lose 9,000 jobs because of this increase in taxes, there's no truckers to ride on our roads that are now improved. Where is the common sense in this? We had a family in my district. This was tragic. They had been foreclosed upon. They were evicted. We had a teacher came to the city council in tears saying, what can you do to help this family? They stayed on the bus all night to keep their children warm. I raised six children. They wanted them to go back to the same school in the morning. Very important. I raised six children, one from Korea. I can tell you, that family had it right. They were involved, parental involvement, no matter what it took. But I can tell you, what that father wanted was a job. We had people. Thank I'm sorry, Representative, your time has expired.